Disclaimer. I love Steven Universe. This series is done purely for fun and to point out some flaws in Steven Universe logic, not for any malicious or defaming intentions. Thank you. When suddenly, Wapamo, Kapowie! Also, this is yet another example of the storyboard quality being, let's just say, lacking. Paradox Gem disappears in this frame. Look, I know everyone's memed this shit to death, but it wouldn't be everything wrong with if I didn't point it out, so... Paradox's hair looks like she blew it up with fucking helium and that she'll float away at any second. I whip out the old photon blaster and pew pew! pa chow chow Steven's body is facing the gems in this shot. In the next shot, however, he's suddenly facing the barn. Even better yet, I was originally going to use this shot to show this inconsistency, but this shot in particular also shows another inconsistency. Look at how close the gems are to the barn and the hole in this shot. Now look back at the last shot. The perspective is so warped and fucked up here that it looks like the gems are further away from the barn than they should be. You could always come back to the temple with us and live in the bathroom again. No thanks. I have seen what goes on in there. Leon! For every moment I find funny, there's always another moment that makes me absolutely cringe to no end. You could live in Surf City, or Sea City, Aquatown, Bayburg... Real creative names there, Crewniverse. Once again, I have to pay my respects to this show's incredible soundtrack. Take a listen. trees, you could build a giant bird's nest and have squirrels for pets. You could eat acorn pie every night, and when it gets hotter it rains, you'd be protected by these nice leaves. How do you expect Lapis to understand half of the Earth concepts you just fired at her all at once? You'd have a fun job at a local coffee shop and come home to a wacky roommate. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, so that's your limit? Either A, Lapis knows nothing about Earth but doesn't question Steven's whole country spiel from earlier. Or B, Lapis understands everything about Earth and is just lying to Steven here for shits and giggles. The episode itself suggests there's literally no in-between. You'd like it in Jersey. The people here seem to hate the Earth, too. Okay, as a New Jersey and myself, you're not wrong. This one star passes over Lapis rather than behind her. Oh, cool. The galaxy warp. How incredibly convenient that out of the thousands of miles of ocean out there, Steven and Lapis just happen to come across the one tiny spot that the galaxy warp is on. I was only meant to visit for a short time. What reason would a Lapis have needed to be sent to Earth for a short time? Better still, what reason would a Lapis have needed to be sent to Earth for a short time during a war? You guys remember this line from That Will Be All? And anger terrifies, a laugh is terrifying. Terraforming is something typically done to support new life and living on a planet. I would also assume that this process takes quite a long time, so that immediately debunks the whole short time thing. Plus, it's clear that she wasn't sent here with the intent of fighting in the war, because the way she words her sentence here indicates that she didn't even know there was a war going on. And we know that she was sent here by somebody because of her saying that she was only meant to visit for a short time. With this knowledge, what good would a Lapis terraforming do in the middle of a war, much less one that they don't even know is happening? Without the answer to this question, I'm just left to assume that this is a case of plot contrivance once again. I see Lapis is copying off of Peridot's hairstyle. This is my new home away from home world! No, it's not! It's mine! Why does Lapis suddenly get so possessive here? It's kind of jarring considering her character. Also, why is Peridot smiling through all this? <laughs> Special thanks to my Mach 2 members, Bear Kawaii Desu, who wants me to say. Everyone bow down to your all-knowing leader, David Hasselhoff. Caden, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Cormac Crowley, who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. 
dank dudes who wants me to say, BE GONE, THOUGHT! Felipe the stick figure that wants me to say, I knew I should have gotten it pre-built. Honey X who didn't provide me with a phrase to say this week. Kawaii Kitten who wants me to say, Everyone needs to consume more calcium. Stop drinking purified fish piss and drink your cow liquids. Get better bones today with our newest product, a literal glass of milk. Mikey X who wants me to say, Whoa, 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 whoa. With all this hubbub, you might as well call Fulano. If that's a reference to something, I do not get it. And Waluigi the Taco Stand guy who wants me to say, Give Kanye his fingers. I want to also give a special thanks to my Mach 1 members. A Good Duck, Angelix8, Death Shadow, Keith Man Maximum Gamer, and Le Mercy. If you wish to become a member, hit the join button down below and follow the on-screen instructions.